Hi, welcome to Trades Lab. Today we're going to talk about PSI. What is it? Not the guy who sings Gamnem style. PSI is pounds per square inch, and we're talking pressure, like the kind of pressure you have in your car tire. So here's your car tire. So we pump the air into there. Something is holding this car tire up, and it's full of air. Well, we call that pressure. And when you go to pump up your tires, you say, oh, I gotta put in a certain amount of PSI. But what exactly are we talking about here? Well, think about it like this. Pounds per square inch. So if I was to look at a square inch, here's a square inch right there. Now, not the best square, sorry. Let's make it better. There we go. Now, on that one square inch, we will have a certain amount of pounds. Here's some weights. Now, if this is 100 pounds, 100 pounds, and if we want to talk about 100 PSI, 100 PSI is basically this force pushing on that one square inch. So here, 100 PSI means 100 pounds pushing on that square inch. So back to your car tire. If your car tire pressure was, let's say, 50 PSI, that means that we've put enough air in here and it's pushing it all around and every square inch, it's going to feel like 50 pounds pushing against it. So that's PSI. Now, when do us plumbers use PSI? We use it for our pressure calculations, when we're checking heating, elevation of drainage, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So that unit, the unit we're talking about, PSI, is basically just a measurement of how much force is pressing on that square inch. And this can be caused by gravity, by air pressure, by all kinds of things. So from now on, when you think of PSI, think about pounds pushing on that square inch. Thank you very much.